you want to learn how to make money trading well you are at the right place i'm gonna teach you a very good strategy for identifying supply and demand zone so you can buy at the bottom and sell at the top if you are new to my channel welcome my name is boy b and i've been trading crypto for a living for a very long time already i'm currently trading on my personal six figures account and on this channel i'm sharing with you guys everything that uh, i'm learning along the way okay to make sure that we are on the same page before we get into the supply and demand zones i have to explain you a few things let's talk about the three phases that every market goes through phase number one is an uptrend phase number two is consolidation and phase number three is a downtrend what you guys have to know is that an uptrend doesn't last forever even though sometimes we get these massive pumps and it just feels like it's gonna continue forever but that's not how it works the same thing is for consolidation consolidation doesn't last forever sometimes Sometimes altcoins just go sideways forever and it feels like this is never gonna end but consolidation doesn't last forever and the same thing is for a downtrend in crypto the downtrends are quite violent we normally get 90 percent plus corrections but downtrend doesn't last forever the market always guys always goes from one phase to another and that's not only about crypto it's about any market actually there are four different possibilities the first one is an uptrend then consolidation then an uptrend the second possibility is a downtrend then consolidation then a downtrend the third one is an uptrend then consolidation then a downtrend or a downtrend then consolidation then an uptrend now let me show you how this looks on the chart so this is an uptrend this is a consolidation where we basically just go up and down up and down up and down just sideways and then an uptrend then this is a downtrend consolidation where we just go sideways downtrend then we have here an uptrend a consolidation this is a descending triangle pattern and then a downtrend Trend. the last one is a downtrend then consolidation this is the opposite of this this is an ascending triangle as you guys can see then an uptrend so these are the only four possibilities there is nothing different that the market can do okay and it's the consolidation phases like this one like this one like this one and this that we use to identify supply and demand zones guys now let's get to business how to draw supply and demand zone i'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process in order to make sure that you guys get this step number one look for a ranging candle and a ranging candle is any candle which closes within the previous candle so there are trending candles and ranging candles this one right here for example what do you guys think this is a trending candle or a ranging candle this is a trending candle because it closed above the previous candle this one right here is a trending candle as well but what about the red one right here do you guys think this is a trending candle or a ranging candle this is a ranging candle and that's exactly exactly what we are looking for so that's step number one step number two is to draw a zone around the ranging candle just like this step number three is to adjust the zone if you need to in some cases you guys are not gonna have to adjust the zone and i'm gonna give you plenty of examples so you get the difference in order to adjust the zone you just have to wait for more candles so for example here we got another candle right so what do we do so this is a ranging candle why because it closed within the previous candle it didn't close above or below the previous candle right so what we have to do is to adjust the zone to the highest or lowest point of this week now since this week to the upside we just have to drag the zone to the upside you can see that the low here of the candle is above our zone so we don't have to do anything so i will just switch a couple of times here so you guys see how to adjust your zone okay now what do you do next where will you wait for the next candle my question to you guys is is this a ranging candle or a trending candle Candle. this is a trending candle so now we know that this is going to be a supply now what you have to do is to make one more adjustment to the zone for supply zones you adjust the zone from the lowest candle close to the highest week for demand zones you adjust it from the highest candle close to the lowest week and as i already mentioned this is a supply zone because we got a candle close below the zone so we have to adjust the zone from the lowest candle close to the highest week that's how it looks like and lastly guys you can change the color of your zone if this will make it easier for you so we know this is gonna be a supply zone and we can make it red then when price comes back to our zone you can expect that it will get rejected and it's gonna go down and that's what happened now let me show you another example you already know that step number one is to look for a ranging candle you know what a ranging candle looks like so this green candle is our ranging candle step number two
to draw a zone around the ranging candle. That's how you do it. You take the whole candle. Step number three, adjust the zone if you need to. So in this case, you guys can see that the next candle already close above our ranging candles, which means that this zone is gonna be a demand zone. And you know that we adjust the demand zone from the highest candle close to the lowest week. So that's what you have to do. Step number four, change the color of your zone. This is not really necessary. I'm personally not doing it, but if you are a beginner, it might be useful to do it for a while. Then when price comes back to your zone, guys, you can expect that it will bounce from here. And that's what happened. Now I'm gonna give you four rules for choosing the best zones to significantly increase your win rate. In the beginning of the video, we covered the market phases and now you're gonna understand why. So we have uptrend consolidation, uptrend, downtrend consolidation, downtrend. So this basically is a trend, an uptrend, a downtrend. We also have uptrend consolidation, downtrend or downtrend consolidation, uptrend. These are reversal. So we have an uptrend consolidation, downtrend or downtrend consolidation, uptrend. These are the scenarios that we are interested in when it comes to supply and demand zones. We are not interested in demand zones that occur during uptrend consolidation, uptrend and we are not interested in supply zones that occur during downtrend consolidation, downtrend. We are only interested in supply and demand zones that occur during reversals. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is that we are only interested in untested zones. You guys have to understand that the more tests a zone goes through, the weaker it becomes. So if you take trades after a zone has been tested 2, 3, 5, 10 times, your chances of having success are lower. So look at this supply zone as an example. It was tested here, then it was tested here, then it was tested here. We don't want this. And you also guys see that with every test, price managed to go deeper into the zone. We are not interested in this. What we are interested in is a tested zone like this one so the first time price approaches the zone you can actually place a trade so in this case this is a supply zone and we're gonna place a short trade with a stop loss above the zone as a take profit you can target the resistance down here so when price comes into the zone your order is gonna get filled and bam that's how you make good trades rule number three is that we are interested in zones where price exits with strength now what do i mean by that let me give you an example first of what what we don't want okay so we identify our supply zone right here and look at the exit we got a little bit of a rejection but nothing significant price just continue to go sideways we don't want this what we want is something like this where price exits with strength right you see this move this is what we are interested in and now rule number four we are interested in scenarios where price comes from a distant equivalent to at least twice the width of our zone what do i mean by that well we have here an untested supply zone so what you can do is to draw a box with the same width as your supply zone then what you have to do is to measure the distance and see how far price is coming from and i'm giving you two as a bare minimum guys you actually want more than that right the more the better this is done in order to make sure that you have a good reward to risk ratio because when you place your trade your take profit will be a lot further than your stop loss that's what the rewards to risk ratio is right and that's very important if you want to be a successful trader something else that is very important for you guys to understand is that supply and demand zones are not like support and resistance where if a resistance is taken then it becomes support no 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 no. once a zone is taken we delete it a supply zone doesn't flip to a demand zone and vice versa 